family. This is your girl, Renee, and I'm just going to show you what I've been up to today. Since it's another rainy, rainy day outside and I didn't get in the garden, but yesterday I was able to get out there and do a little cleanup and pick some more peppers because I'm telling you, this has got to be one of my best pepper harvest seasons of all time. I'm not talking bell peppers. I'm talking um, like Cubanelle peppers, jalapeno peppers, cayenne long peppers, um, habaneros, all the peppers. Yo, girl, have been doing it. Can't get them bell peppers like I had a few seasons back. But, child, I am going hard in on the bell peppers. So, I was able to get a few bags of okra here. These two. This one back here. I went out and harvested some more of my beans, which are coming in strong now. And those are my striped beans. And then this is a few of those bell peppers that I picked when I was out there harvesting all my peppers off of the... Um, in the black and white garden because those peppers plants have seen better days and then these are some more hot peppers that I bagged up because I need a bag that tells me to distinguish um, my hot peppers because when I need some that just need a little kick of a spicy pepper I always forget to label them and I end up grabbing a bag like this and I'm like hmm I don't know if those are my sweet peppers or my hot peppers. So, your girl has learned to at least label. And I'm going to put the date on those. So, I did that. And I'm going to swing around really quick. Because your girl is back on the spice train. So, I was able to get some more peppers. And so, I just diced them up. And I put them in my dehydrator. So, your girl is about to put the top on there. Plug this in in the garage. Because I don't know about you guys, but if you um, dehydrate peppers, put them in a location where, and not in your house, trust and believe, peppers and onions should not be dehydrated in your house. They need to have their own little area. So where I put mine is I always put mine out in the garage on a, a table that I have out there. Just FYI. Because if you put them inside your house, trust and believe, your whole house will smell like onions for a long time. And it'll be hard to get that onion smell out of your house. Bell peppers, same way. And if you have somebody in your household that has like a breathing problem or has asthma or something like that, um, let them know so they won't go into that area because the fumes that the peppers and the onions um, exude, they're very strong and it kind of um, bothers their breathing. So that's just an inside tip to let you guys know about that. So your girl is about to go and like I said, I'm going to swing you around again. Um, and I'm going to put these in my freezer Get them together because I reorganized my um, Chester freezer out there. That freezer is specifically going to be for the vegetables that I have grown in my garden and vegetables that I can't grow that I purchased from the store. So, and then I have a refrigerator that's specifically for my um, meat. So, because I, I don't know about you guys, but those Chester freezers, if you have like meat and vegetables and um tv dinners or ice cream or whatever and that joker get that stuff get down at the bottom of that chest of freezer and if you're like me when you go and you get something out of a chest of freezer you always go for the stuff that's on the top you don't feel you don't think about digging and moving stuff in order to get for the food that's at the bottom and what happens to that food at the bottom it goes freezer burn. So, huh, I'm just telling you, that's another tip. That's why I made it my vegetables, because we go in there constantly. And I always put um, my older vegetables at the top. And as I'm loading in my new vegetables, I put them down at the bottom. So I can do a continuous rotation. Woohoo! Alright, you guys. So, I just want to bring this quick video to you guys. To let you know what your girl is doing. I got more I got to cut up. 
but I'm about to take a break and this is what my little um my little treat to myself is going to be. If you guys remember this Luigi's, this real Italian ice, I got the lemon flavor and these taste so so good, you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried these um real Italian ice and what flavor is your favorite flavor. All right, you guys, just wanted to say hello. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Hope you guys are keeping yourself busy. And if you guys are in the pathway of this storm, I'm sending you all my prayers and love to you to keep you safe. And please be careful. Don't go out there if you do not have to. If your garden, I mean, it is what it is. It's better. You can replace things that are out in your garden. But please, we you can't replace people. All right, you guys, love you, love you, love you. Be safe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, you guys, be safe out there, and please give us updates so we can see how everything's going for you. All right, with that being said, love you guys, love you, love you, love you, and always, I'll be thinking about you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.